Welcome to the full moon in Libra. Today we are working with grape. It says intoxication and stupor below that. <laughs> and grape, two different decks and two grapes. Ace of Pentacles in this deck. And tarantula, fire element. So let's get into it. The Libra full moon, I love these two extremely hedonistic cards in a Libra full moon because, I, okay, I'm a Libra moon, so I feel qualified to speak on this. There is this tendency similar to a Pisces where you can really get behind the finer things or the th the finer things to you, like what, what makes you feel good, what's bringing you joy in this life. You're willing to, at times, dive into it, perhaps excessively. Don't get offended. <laughs> but there, this is just a beautiful amalgamation of so many aspects of the Libra archetype and a full moon being this time of grandeur and shining a light on your subconscious, like really seeing what's going on inside of yourself. How are you reacting to the world? How are you reacting to your own internal things going on? And question, is hedonism involved? Is excessive feel good things are they involved and also how can you be okay with that how can you be okay with whatever coping mechanisms you need to use in a time where i don't have to tell you the world is crumbling around us everything that we understand as society is just showing its ass over and over again <laughs> so we come to these cards so first let's talk about this one because it's a deep purple and it's so very much in this realm of energy portals the the correspondence how we see things how we relate to things what we are discerning as truth what are we discerning as the messages that are for us like what are we even noticing on a day-to-day -day level that this we have to take accountability for our correspondence with the one consciousness. And I'll, I know that that sounds like, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the fact that when we as humans who have spent so much time building our little individualities, like we're really important, we really feel that this one life, this thing that I'm doing is extremely important. Then we are so deep in the physical realm that we can get carried away with said physical realm. And everything in life is about balance. And if we are not being balanced and we're just taking in what we need to cope with a strange and intense and often painful reality, it can turn to intoxication and stupor. <laughs> we can lose our connection to the bigger picture, the spiritual, the one consciousness, the whatever you want to call it. Really, names are just subjective points for you to understand from your storyline what this larger thing is. If we can't find balance between connecting and staying grounded, then we will be intoxicated. We will be lost. We will be wayward. We will not feel aligned to our purpose and to what ultimately is just driving us to experience whatever we're supposed to experience in this life. And I'm not trying to put any good or bad onto anybody's experience because that too is subjective. Like 
based on what's going on in your ecosystem and what's going on around you. And we can't control so many of these things. We are consistently inundated with the knowledge of how fucked up everything is around the world because media sells us all of the harshest stories. And I'm not saying that those stories aren't true because obviously they are. Obviously we have video evidence. And also we're not able to affect any kind of real positive change if we're so caught up in how overwhelming all of this is and coping with it in any number of ways that are taking us out of being grounded in our physical self. And this Ace of Pentacles, and it's a coin with Dionysus on it, Dionysus. And um, so we, we're giving this energy of madness like we we are surrounded by the madness by the dissolution of everything and how incredibly uncomfortable that is and again we have this particular plant that can be turned into raisins and it can be this like nutritious thing that we can save and and keep and keep us going over a long period of time we can turn it into wine we can turn it into alcohol and all of these things are doing something for us and it has done something for humans for maybe thousands of years. And so we have this opportunity to understand what it is that we're using as coping mechanisms and to not beat ourselves up about it. Like this is all a part of the experiential process of being a human, like allow yourself whatever it is that you need to experience in this time and also be aware of what you're building be aware of how you're grounding yourself because the ace of pentacles i think of when i think of aces i always think of um the epiphany like when you when you begin when the seed sprouts it's the epiphany of existence it's the possibility of anything anything could happen to this little plant anything could happen to this little idea anything could happen to this creative project anything could happen it's a little baby you're ushering it into the world but you have these ideas of what could become and it's the idea of what could become that propels forward, that gives motion, that gives you the drive to want to invest energy in cultivating and growing. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing to get these two grape cards because I think that we really, it's okay that we are essentially having to use whatever it is that we're using in order to cope with this reality. And the more that we could just believe that, not just for ourselves, but for everybody around us, like not, not saying that we should all be going to excesses, that's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. I'm saying that if we could be a little bit more gentle with ourselves, a little kinder with ourselves and willing to accept that we're not perfect and we're not meant to be perfect, we're meant to experience and if we were a little bit more kind on ourselves, perhaps we wouldn't have to go to such madness, to such destruction and such overwhelm. We could, we could fold back in to understanding that it's okay to feel things and it's okay to use whatever coping mechanisms we have and it's also okay and I think that if we get to the point where we're okay we're not beating ourselves up about things we have the potential to get to the point that those things will not rule us but those things will continue to rule us if we just ignore just ignore any of the situations and why we're feeling this way or or saying that it's not okay to ourselves that we are doing xyz we have to be gentler to ourselves at least that is what i am learning in therapy very grateful for it 
Yes. <laughs> and just to reiterate, all of the points is this beautiful tarantula, which I know, scary spiders. <laughs> but spiders are really, really beautiful creatures that are tied to a lot of uh, web weaving creation myths and and just the consciousness. Like I think when I think of the consciousness, I think of mycelium. I think of webs i think of the connected connectedness of everything <laughs> and tarantulas are these particular animals so they build little burrows for themselves with their web and they that's how they like care for their families have their egg sacs hide generally they they're living underneath the ground in their little burrows and they're these incredibly intuitive and sensitive beings that like have have the i don't know maybe they can feel the barometric pressure in the little hairs that come off of them that tells them that it's going to rain and they get out of their burrows before the rain comes and get to higher ground like lots of animals have different things like that where they can know what's coming the weather and things and I think that we have the ability to tap into that energy. Just like the tarantula, I know, creepy, crawly, scary, big spider, whatever, whatever. But suspend your fear about things and see this creature for what it is. It's this beautiful creature that understands how to lie in wait, to be patient, to be open to what the ecosystem is saying to it so it can know how to move forward like understanding what the ecosystem not just the ecosystem around you but your own internal ecosystem your body is an ecosystem and you have an opportunity at any given moment even though it's hard because we have so many distractions so many things that we can be putting our energy into at any given moment we can feel into ourselves we can be these like super sensitive sensual beings that are extremely aware of our physical reality and grounded in it grounded in our body and being okay with whatever experience we're having right now because we're grounded on this earth we're grounded in our humanity we're grounded in the one consciousness we're grounded in this story that we're sharing together and the experiences that we're putting together. And it's just all of these cards are really just giving us this opportunity, like really see what's going on, see yourself, see what's going on in your life, see what's going on in your body. Allow yourself to break loose, to like shake it up, because honestly, that's what's happening in the world right now. We don't really have the luxury of not shaking it up because I think if we choose to not shake things up the world is like well we'll shake it up for you in one way or another saying a lot of shaking stuff in the earthquake state I gotta chill <laughs> but it might be coming nonetheless grape hedonism enjoyment like breaking free understanding our cultivation our ability to cultivate our reality and that that reality requires a very delicate balance between being grounded and being open to the one consciousness it's a it's a Taurus think of yourself as an energy being and the energy is moving through you out up down circular motion all the way around Taurus and that's what we are we are all our own little energetic turbines existing in this world and whether or not we're like fully functional is predicated on how much you are paying attention to that movement of energy and there's so many different ways that you can do that but like just think of it right now 
in this moment in this libra beautiful like we're all we're all focusing on the the energy and the justice and the aesthetic and the beauty and the hedonism <laughs> and we're and we're going to just bring that energy like bring that energy down into grounded like what what can you release over these next two weeks of this like waning moon what are you ready what are you seeing and what are you ready to let go of what are you ready to be okay with maybe you don't have to even let it go maybe you could just choose to be okay with it and with that energy hopefully if you could just be okay with it you could be okay with yourself you'd be okay with yourself everything is slightly easier when you can just be okay with yourself and i want that for all of us so that we can make it through whatever is on its way it doesn't matter we can't control what is going to happen to us we can't know what is going to happen to us all we can do is to find some amount of comfort in the fact that we could be so grounded and we could be so connected that we could be ready and willing and able to know to 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 know that we can feel a situation and we can feel if something is is if the barometric pressure is going off and the rain is about to fall perhaps we can protect ourselves by becoming more aware perhaps we can move this ball forward instead of being so stuck in falling apart all the time that we can't get grounded in this physical reality i believe in us so blessings to you all and i'll catch you next time